Look what I found. Good luck charm. So how's everybody in the in the YouTube world doing today? So Slade with you today from Follow the Fanchers. It's actually uh it's Saturday afternoon. I've been doing uh hold on just a minute, got a phone. So call. it's Saturday afternoon and I guess <clears throat> I guess once a salesman, always a salesman had a had a phone call, which is odd for for a customer to I don't get a lot of calls on Saturday. You know, when I was in the retail world, I used to get a lot of calls on Saturday, but I don't get as many calls uh, in the heavy equipment world on Saturday, unless guys are working on Saturday. Anyway, that's a guy over in Phoebe, Mississippi, and he wants to rent an excavator. So uh, I'll get him all set up next week and get him a, uh, a excavator going. But anyway, y'all know what time it is. I've been... It's getting elk season. This is probably by the time y'all see this, it'll be the end of July. I'm walking out here on the management area. I always look for good luck charms and I'll be dang if I didn't find this gobbler wing feather while I was walking. So maybe that'll, uh, maybe that'll be my good luck charm for New Mexico. I don't really believe in luck. The only, the only real luck is the harder you work, the luckier you get. But anyway, Elk season's coming for me and dad, middle of September. I've been walking probably, I don't know, two or three weeks now, just trying to get ahead and trying to get in shape. And this will be year 29 for dad and I. And as I reflect on on year 29, you know, it's it's kind of like a, like a lot of things in life. You know, when the, whether it be baseball with Aiden or, elk hunting or your work career or family or or whatever you know whenever dad and i's elk journey first started i mean our elk journey was huge because it was year one now it's year 29 and the journey's done got down like this you know and uh you just never know how much how much longer you have and that that equates in the in the spiritual life too you know when when you're a Christian, you know, it's a little different, but you never know how much life you got ahead of you. But there's one thing you better do, especially in your Christian walk. You need to live it, live it as hard as you can live it up to your best ability, which I didn't do for a long time, but we're all sinners saved by the grace of God. But uh, tell as many people about Jesus as you as you can witness to as many people as you can and you know look being a witness i'm not saying you gotta walk up to them and break out the bible and start reading the bible verses now if you're led to do that that's a uh, great i don't know if i'm blessed with that spiritual gift but i am blessed with the gift of gab because if y'all been following this channel these 8,000, 10,000 subscribers, then, then you know that. But you can do little subtle stuff, you know. Open a door for somebody at a grocery store. Pay for a guy's food behind you in, in line, you know. And when he, when he says thank you, tell him, tell him Jesus loves you. I mean, let people see it in how you live on a, on a daily basis. Let them see... What kind of husband you are? What kind of what kind of dad you are? What kind of what kind of church member you are? What kind of coworker you are? Uh, there's lots of small stuff you can do to uh, to let Jesus' light shine in your life on a day-to-day -day basis. But anyway, I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna try to do better over the next six or eight weeks. I know lots of you enjoy the whole elk journey so i'm going to do all i can to bring you as much content as i can uh around my around my work around the family and just maybe reflect on some of the some of the older days you know dad and started going i think 1980 maybe 81 uh I started going with him in 1996 and we have not missed a year, not a single year. We did go to Alaska 
a couple times in there but our out west or our out northwest hunting trips have been going on for 29 years i've been videoing them i guess this is maybe the fourth year that i'll video it and man i i wish i had all 29 years and that's that's one reason i started youtube i, I tell people i didn't i didn't start youtube to make money or anything like that or to try to be a big shot i started youtube because youtube was a free place for me to store all my memories all of our all of our family memories all of my hunting memories just uh everything that 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 we do as a family and it has turned into something that uh is a lot of fun my uh, my grandkids my great grandkids will be able to kind of kind of see what what uh my mom and dad was like and kind of what me and me and julie were like if something happens and the lord was to call us home but anyway year 29 as y'all know i always kind of start getting in shape because i'm i'm dead gum done got fat and out of shape but i'm working on it the one thing i'm gonna do different this year i got a i got dang big ass all over me the one thing i'm gonna do different this year is i'm gonna I'm going to try to stay in shape. I told somebody at work, actually, uh, I guess maybe it was yesterday, Friday, that uh, I got a nine-year-old little girl. Ten years from now, there's going to be some 19-year-old punk kid that's going to try me. <laughs> so I'm going to have to, I'm going to, have to be uh, ready for him because I'm, be, I'm going to be 60 years old and they're going to be, they're going to be beating the door down. But, uh, so I'm gonna do as much video. Uh, the preparation of the elk trip. Dad's having a little bit of hip trouble. Uh, we'll try to do some more shooting together, y'all. I mean, y'all know uh, I've had three shoulder surgeries. I always had to get a shot or two in my shoulders. I've already started my my exercises on my shoulders a lot earlier. Just just trying to trying to strengthen them up. We'll. Uh, with me not being in the retail store, which I wasn't in the retail store last year, uh, a lot of my gear will be the same. I might try to upgrade the Matthews V3X, maybe put a, I hate to get rid of my old stabilizer. Uh, man, I've had that, I've had that stabilizer for, for, for years. I'm definitely not going to change broadheads. I'm not going to change airs. I'm not going to change release. I'm not going to change quivers. Probably not going to change sights because it just all works, but may get a new pair of boots. Uh, I don't know. I'm partial to my boots, but either way, I'm going to take y'all along and show you as much as I can. Uh, Julie and Ainsley has started. Julie's a principal at a new school, so Ainsley's there. Uh, that all starts, let's see, today's Saturday. I think it starts Tuesday. I think they have to have to be there Tuesday. So y'all be in prayer for her, uh, be, in, be in prayer for them. I got some news about Aiden uh, coming up, some great news about him. But anyway, this will be, uh, be a little short video today, but I just want to let you know that all is, all is well. And uh, I start to kind of start getting back to making two or three videos a week just to keep everybody in tune with what's going on and uh, how we're getting ready for elk season. So... Anyway, remember, God bless, Jesus saves. Thank y'all for watching. See y'all next time.